we did the intake in the last video. So we wanted to, some people asked to do the exhaust. I said, figure might as well be good for documentation purposes. Um, same process as the intake, light valves, solid buckets. This is a 3D printed 30 millimeter tube. That's 62 millimeters long. Might be a little bit longer than it needs to be, but um, this is for stock port size. Uh, there's another one that we're printing for the bigger exhaust port. Uh, but I already set this thing at 50 thousandths lift. Same, same basic layout, exhaust flow, 100 CFM range. Um, I'm gonna document all of it and then, yeah, we'll go through this process. So, I'm gonna turn around. Go up to a hundred. This should be under 100, we'll see. Three on our lift. So, uh, 
119. 350 lift. So we're gonna do the same thing with the race port head. Um, it'd be interesting to do the runner diameter stuff. So it's actually a smidge bigger, but that's kind of the idea behind that. Hundred and fifty thou and three hundred thou are the two things I'm gonna post on this YouTube vid um, for our current. Uh, I don't know what you want to call. It. This is what we're releasing. So uh, it flows over 100 CFM at 150 lift. The stock cylinder head was at 87 and a half. Um, I already set it up, so let's flow this thing. which really ain't bad for the stock tube. So we're gonna go to 300 lift. 200, 250. 300, let's see here. I flowed this with a tube. Said tube, much bigger diameter. Like that thing slides over it. Um, this definitely lowered the flow of this port because I know when it flows with this tube. <laughs> so um, very interesting to see it choke it that much. But the um, the low lift, like the under 150,000 slips, because I just did do it, we're not just putting it on camera, uh, was uh, obviously this thing is choking the port at this point. So at the higher list numbers, our numbers have dropped pretty significant. Um, so that's something to think of too, is like, you know, you put a huge ported head on there and then you put a little exhaust manifold runner on it and, uh, It won't flow the same, but you might not be looking for flow. You might be looking for the velocity to make the turbo spool up. So we've seen that, we've done that test. 
maybe not in this world, but in the Mitsubishi world where um, a smaller runner arguably made more power and spooled quicker. Like it's the next day. I was show you printing this last night and then some dudes rolled in from Georgia. The testing, but it's the morning. So uh, the factory tube, um, the new tube size, I guess. Uh, now the port and the tube pretty much match up. Um, I just floated at 50 real quick to see the comparison. Um, it did like one CFM better at, at 50 thou, but I'm gonna put it at the 150 and we'll flow that. Yeah, it flows over 100 at 150. And 300 left. So 147. So from, yeah, I mean, uh, almost 20 CFM at 300 lift. It was uh, 18, 18 CFM from this tube diameter to this tube diameter. So <clears throat> um, five CFM at 150 thou and one CFM at 50. So, um, I mean, for the most part, it just tells you that a bigger tube flows more obviously, but, uh, um, you know, generally speaking, horsepower guys will run a bigger uh, runner, runner diameter. Um, so we're definitely gonna play with this a little bit uh you know our our current plan is to run a you know port it out and run a bigger runner diameter to the turbo so uh but yeah other than that this cylinder head um in comparison to a stock head one forty seven which it would have been interesting to flow the stock head with that port um, with the bigger port but I mean I guess the exit of the head wasn't much bigger but um, 119 so we're up 28 CFM 
on the exhaust at 300 lift, which is uh, yeah, 23% increase. It's pretty good. Um, I, I, yeah, I know it flows more in, at the 350, but uh, yeah, other than that, I mean, this is just informational stuff. <coughs> kind of interesting to watch a simple couple millimeter change in, in diameter here uh, create such huge flow number differences. But the plan is still to test this cylinder head on the dyno. So uh, we're, we've been pretty busy catching up with other projects to be able to do the R&D side of things, but it's coming. So we're, we'll have that video um, soon enough. I'm super interested to see, to see how it acts on a stock machine and then a bigger power machine. We're gonna try to use the same head. Um, you know, do back to backs with uh, something like the, like a factory RR triple or the FP green and then an XR42 or an XR54, something like that. So, Stay tuned for that stuff, it's, it'll be coming.